Hello everyone, I am going to make a presentation on safety instrumented system maintenance, detailed process. The video is being taken on behalf of instrumentationtools.com and automationcommunity.com. Kindly watch and subscribe. Maintenance and design interfaces. Whenever the plants are going into operation, there could be many kind of interfaces between different uh, groups for the safe operation of the plant. So, Maintenance and design interfaces, we will look into it. The design shall allow for testing of the SIS either end-to-end -end or in segments. Whether the interval between the scheduled process downtime is greater than the proof test interval, then online test facilities are required. So, the safety instrumented system part shall be capable of doing maintenance on instrument wise. It's the design should be done in such way that each instrument can be taken up for maintenance, assignment required. When an online proof testing is required, the test facility shall be an integral part of the design. So, in some cases, there could be only one instrument which may not be able to be isolated while the process is running. So, there shall be a provision to do an online testing. So, the design should have considered for making such a provision. Maintenance needs. When the test or bypass facilities are included in the safety instrumented system, they shall confirm with the following. The SIS shall be designed in accordance with the maintenance and testing requirements defined in the SRS. SRS stands for safety requirements specification. The operator shall be alerted to the bypass of any portion of the SIS via an alarm or operating procedure. Whenever any instrument, safety instrument system is taken out of service, then the operator should be highly alert. So, in case of any hazards happening in that area, he will have to do manual action to contain the asset. That's why an alarm has to be provided and also the operating procedure will be there for the operations to understand and take a preventive action. Okay. Various components in SIS maintenance. Forcing of inputs and outputs in SIS shall not be used as a part of application program operating procedure and maintenance. Forcing of inputs and outputs without taking the SIS out of service shall not be allowed unless supplemented by procedures and access security. Any such forcing shall be announced or set off an alarm as appropriate. Forcing means bypassing. There is any requirement for a particular system to work. There shall be many interlocks which may be required to be satisfied. So, in the normal operating conditions, it will normally get satisfied, but in some cases, these conditions may not arise, which may call for a bypassing or forcing. Forcing means we are manually forcing the required pressure range or required flow or temperature, as, as the case may be. So, this may be required to be done during the plant running condition for different reasons. If such a forcing is being done, that has to be alarmed and annunciated, so the operations will be alert. Maintenance and engineering interfaces. Maintenance engineering interfaces shall provide the following function with access security protection to each. SIS mode of operation, program, data, means of disabling alarm communication, test, bypass, maintenance. All these activities shall be required to be done during the plant in operation which means this is also in line in operation. This diagnostics, voting and fault handling services including add, delete or modify application program. Thus, there shall be features to do the self diagnostics on the self safety instrumented system and uh, the program may be required to be modified whenever the process is in working condition, process is in operation. So, such kind of requirement has to be done during the engineering stage. Data necessary to troubleshoot the SIS where bypasses are required, they should be installed that such an alarm and manual shutdown facilities are not disabled. Whenever any bypasses are required, so shall be a provision to do that bypasses and shall be alarm to highlight that that particular system is in bypass. Enabling and disabling the read-write access shall be carried out only by a configuration management process using the maintenance engineering interface 
with appropriate documentation and security measures such as authentication and user secure channels. So uh, there could be some bypass requirements which may need to enable, for example, a pump run may be an enable requirement. Actually, in the process that pump may not be running due to it to the non-requirement of the plant or etc. So in such cases, there could be a need to do a bypass as if the particular pump is running. In such cases, all the actions shall be captured in documentation so that any mistakes or any failures can be corrected. Proof testing requirements. The SIS shall be designed in accordance with the maintenance and testing requirements. A proof test is a physical test to determine if there are problems with this SIS or VPCS. IPL means independent protection layer, independent protection layer component that the online diagnostics does not check. For example, for a sensor, this could be plugging in the sensor line, a pinhole in the diaphragm or undetected electronic drift. So these are all hidden failures. So during proof testing, these failures could be revealed. That's why it is always intended as recommended to go for the proof testing as per the calculated arrived cycle. The proof test brings out of proof test brings out faults problems on the instrument if any if there are any such problems thus that will be highlighted in the upfront depending on the redundancy and application the proof test may require instruments be pulled out of service or process units to be shut down this is why it is very important to consider proof testing when designing a sys in all cases the goal of proof testing is to return the component to as good as new so that the healthiness of the instruments it ensured. So the, uh, not only the in instrument healthiness is ensured, but the protection for the people and environment as well as the mechanical equipment is taken care. The performance of all SIS components must be periodically proven via proof testing, including SIS category valves. The degree to which a SIS valve is leak tested is determined by its required functionality. And this is a requirement about the SIS valve leak test requirements. There are some leakage classes set by the APA standard. APA 598 is a standard for doing the leak test requirement. Based on the plant unit, the criticality, some valves may require zero leakage. Those valves that are determined to require a bubble tight performance also called a tight shutoff due to the exponentially low weak limits necessary to maintain the risk medication need to demonstrate its level of performance. Some valves in the plant may require to have a zero leakage which means class 6 as per the API 598 standards. So if that be the case the internals will be designed to meet that uh, zero leakage requirement. As well as during the testing, another valves are uh, coming into inspection, they can be tested for the zero leakage case. Options for bubble tight testing are to connect bench testing in the valve shop or in inline testing. These are also, for example, this fault requires zero leakage. These faults need to be tested in the workshop inside the plant to have a zero leakage. In case it is not achieving the zero leakage, then the plant owner has every right for the manufacturer of the valve to come and replace it or he will do some necessary repair by putting a better seal or making a proper lapping in the valve body etc to make sure that the valve is going for a zero leakage. Sys logic solver testing. Proof testing, repair and documentation procedures also applies to logic solver. Maintenance frequency of logic solver may be different than the sensor and final control elements. Usually, the proof testing of logic solver is matched with the plant's turnaround or major overall frequency so that operations are not affected because proof testing of the logic solver is a really challenging one. During this time, the entire plant may not operate or taking into manual the all related devices is very cumbersome and difficult. So, in this case, the testing of the logic solver is always planned along with the plant shutdown or turnaround times. 
even though the plan goes for shutdown the logic server functionality may not to be retained to maintain some essential services like cooling water steam etc even though the plants go to some short shutdown still the cooling water requirement instrument requirement and air requirement everything will be there it is not easy to do lely testing sorry to do the testing of the logic server even if it is just short shutdown the test to be performed through a proper calculation and enough resources to do this one otherwise during the smart shutdown also the plant process will be keep on running only there is a major turn around when the all equipment will be isolated so that time only the logic server will will not have much impact the logic server hardware may be must be operation periodically tested according to a written proof test procedure tested in case of undiagnosed failures so the hardware has to be tested as and when possible okay thank you